Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. Just sitting here admiring what we're going to be leaving behind. Yeah, a lot of work to put this together. Looks good too. Oh well, we will do different and better things later. Let's see whatever happened here. Alright, these guys grew and ready to be harvested. There's our carrots. Cool. Light that one up just because we can. Yeah, and there's the storm. So, speaking of storm, well, kind of in a roundabout way, there were a couple of comments last time that asked about the idea of just grabbing a small island and using it, I guess, like a shuttle. You know, our own personal Uber. <laughs> and drive it around, leaving this as our main base and just shuttle back and forth to it. And that's an idea. Except that we've only seen right there. And it's quite a bit of time to travel, like from our starter island to that furthest one over there. Imagine how long it's going to be to travel to here. Yep. I think we need to invest in a good RV, not, not an Uber. We, we need to bring home with us. We really do. <laughs> oh, that's right. In episode three, I was notified that somehow the comments got turned off. That wasn't part of my plan. I have it set as default to be on. So, whatever happened there, whoever tried to leave comments on episode 3, sorry about that, it just didn't happen. They're on now, but it's a little too late. So, we need to set up over at the other island. Let's head that direction. And figure out what's going to happen there. Now, we don't have a lot of lift. I was looking at this design up here. I, uh actually wandered the island quite a while after last episode and made some modifications but up here I threw this up so that we could see around a little bit better I'd like to get rid of these and put them somewhere else entirely so I have a, a perfect line of sight you know all of this shifted back a little bit or something or even maybe a multiple deck thing with the sails up above yeah maybe that's a way to do it but we need, I think, four of these for this island. It is a pretty good size island. So temporarily, we could do something right here with another two of them. Just to get us this compact little command deck for, for our starter. Uh, figuring out how all this works. But I did go through and put stairs all around the place so that we can get around without having to do a lot of jumping. On over here and... Head down to our little uh, perimeter of the island. I, I could have pulled a lot of trees out to make this pathway easy, but I kind of like the wooded look to it. Work our way all the way around. Does it go further? Yeah. Get back over there. Or come up over here. There is a lot of space on this island. And back up to where we started. Although there's, for some reason... It hits right here. I think it's because I'm in the rock a little and whatever keeps you from walking up a rock is transferring through. So I may need to move this one out about a foot. And yeah, I've got over here. Um, and then there's more internally to move around. Hello. So, what to do this episode? Yeah. Oh, one more thing that I did. I crafted the sickle right there and found out, that's like number seven, that we can not take this stuff up. Well, oh, oops. <laughs> the pumpkin was too close and I destroyed the plant. Okay, so it will destroy plants, but it picks up these. And that becomes plus four small plants, which I believe converts into animal feed. So let's go... Where am I? Let's run over here. I was never used sprint in this game. Am I still sprinting? I'm still sprinting. Uh, hitting the shift again doesn't cancel the sprint. Interesting. Let's see what we can do with small plants. 
you two, three of you makes a hay bale. Okay, let's craft that. And pull you guys out. Um, so hay bale doesn't drop in here as a raw ingredient. So it doesn't mean I can build anything more with it. Okay, so you're over there. Um, that gave us, though, like, what, hay storage, I'm guessing? <clears throat> yeah, right there. So, a hay stockpile. And various sizes. Huh. So I wonder if it will give you multiples the more you put on and give you a big stack, or if it one represents all of them. Don't know. What are you? Oh, here is our trough for feeding animals. Okay. I know there are small fences in the game that you will eventually find, too, for building little pasture areas. Okay. Um, what time is it? can't really tell with the, the haziness. There is something I wanted to see back at the starter island. I was about to do that last time, but we crammed way too much into last time, and that went an hour and a half long. So I don't want to do that again. It's got to... It's hard for me to figure out where I am on all these islands. That if I can keep the storm where I can see it, then I know that the starter island is that way. So let's go up. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of storm edge out there. Um, is it out that way? Or is it out that way? It's out that way. There we go. Let's head back to the original island. And for the sake of time, I won't make you guys watch the whole trip, but I'll meet you there. What I saw while I was editing and then realized I never did go over and explore it, because I wasn't all that great with flying at that point, was this little island out over here that you had to take the, uh, the jumps to get to. Was there anything over here that we didn't get to see? Whoa! Interesting. So I guess they were showing us that building is available to us and take note kind of like um, forever skies and finding the uh, you know the skeletons or crashed remnants of different airships and discover things in and I got a chest here with hay so we could have fed the goat and what are you let's grab all these guys garlic seeds arrows yeah this was Kind of a, an invitation to, you know, to see some of the things we were going to find otherwise. But let's pop into here. What was that? A water opal. A mesmerizing gemstone polished by a quiet riverbed. Interesting. Hmm. Arrows drop in with food? Okay. Maybe that's consumables. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is what I wanted to see, but now that we know so much more about the game, is there anything else around here that I would have recognized had I known what to look for? I wish I knew if there was something special about these guys. Can you chop them down? You cannot. Okay. So you're not going to gain anything special that way. Hmm. Well, we'll grab these easy trees here. No, you're not an easy tree, but you are. Okay. Um, do we take this home with us? That's just logs, not planks, so I suppose not. Okay, let's put you away. And... Yeah, we never made it to the top of this at all. Here's wheat. There was a lot more to discover on this starter island than I had a clue. So, I knew I wanted to come back and and think of this stuff a little bit more closely. So wheat, we now have wheat seeds, small plants. Okay. Do we get the small plants at the same time? No, still just plus six. So that was what? I must have hit something else by accident. Yeah, over here, these guys. All right, so further up, not really. Oh, yeah. You try that. <laughs> well, let's take these out first. We'll take all the wheat back with us. 
you yep and some more small plants so we'll have lots of hay um, is that still on me we could stop by the the goats at some point that's up there okay so we still have that we don't have any grain for the birds so that's maybe oh, something to do with the mill we did get that last time right um, here yeah the millstone okay getting dark Now, anything in the water that's different? Just collect water. Okay. I don't know if certain flowers have... You know, if there's going to be anything else to collect that... Never even thought of before. Just walk by it over and over again and now... Suddenly it means something. Okay. So let's go... Oh, hit that one hard. Up here, hi. Nothing special about this tree? No, don't think so. Now, we've been over there. That side we've seen. It's this side that we haven't. Okay. A few more down here. the W and S. I'm always doing the wrong one. Okay. I see some on the end over here. That. May as well take this patch with us. And so there's that down there. We've seen all this. Okay. Grab you. And anything down another side. A lower level of this. Nope. Oh. Well, I found a little crevice. Alright, up here... We've seen all of that. I'm guessing we've been up here. What was this right up here? This is the pathway up to... That, yeah. So we've seen all this. We just hadn't seen the top of that waterfall. Now, the other area that we didn't see till the very end was on the other side of the entrance where all the tomatoes were. So I wonder if there's anything further up into there that we didn't see that first time. Yeah. Okay, I want to see this. Is there anything up in here? Gather, well, stones, okay. So there's nothing else up in here. But I've got to make sure that I notice these little sparkles. In this case, they're representing fireflies, but there are other times they represent something you've never seen before. So that is a thing in this game, too. All right, so we've been there, we've been here. That other starter area was down in there. And we'll just drop in. So this whole area here... Blue? That's a rock. Okay. This is the area that we found the tomatoes. Right there. But I don't know that we truly searched everything. What's that down there? Well, that's the original windstone. Okay. Back over here. Not windstone. Learning stone. Okay, nothing there. This would have been an interesting island. That gather is the tomato. We got plenty of tomatoes. Now we know how to grow them. Just want to see if there's anything else up in here that. We just breezed past, excited to get on to whatever, what else was out there somewhere. There could still be hidden chests and little crevices around here. Need to go up that. But you're sure glowing a lot. 
Like I've got to kind of pay attention to that. Things that glow at night, maybe we don't want to destroy. Might be fun to build around them and have some some things that light up at night around whatever it is that we're doing on the new island. Okay. Well, I think I can say I've seen pretty much all of this place now. Yeah, there are some areas that do glow quite well. That's where I believe the windstones come from. Alright, so sun is starting to peak. Well, no, I've still got a moon in there. And it's going to go behind the storm. I wonder if that's when it gets nice and dark. Alright, so I've got my... Well, tab is flashing at me. What do you want? Uh, over here, wheat. So golden grain that can be grounded into flour. And plant it in a farming plot to grow a wheat plant. Okay, let's head back. And... What else is out here that we have missed? There's one island that... I think that one that is still in a state of corruption. We could go clear that one out and see if there's anything new over there. So, boost, boost. Nope, missed it. And we could play with one of these updrafts on purpose and see what happens. Don't want to get too winded here. Alright, we're going to dive right into the middle of it and see what happens. Not as dramatic as whatever hit us before. Alright, slowing down. Diving down. Okay, do I want to do this at night? Oh, look at the sparkles in there. Interesting. Let's dive down a little lower. And then just kind of hover around here for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> like sparks. Oh. Okay, that's... Is it the influence of the island? It is. No, we're not doing that at night. Now I know. Okay. But let's just pull off somewhere nearby. And hang around here for a little bit. In fact, where's a goat from here? We have... There's chickens on, or, or pheasants on this one. Let's go up to this one and go visit the goats. That's the one right there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's got the tunnel underneath and the ledge out the side. So one more of those, just about exhausted. Able to rest a little when we get here. In fact, there's a bed if we wanted to sleep a little on this island. Slowing down. Let's get better at flying. I'm doing a lot of it. Right there. And drop. Alright, so let's go say hi to a goat. And the game will name them once we say hi to them. Feed. There we go. You are ace. Now I can pick up Ace. Though I'm a little bit close. There's a snout. <laughs> and throw him back down. Okay, so now we know Ace. Who are you? You are... Finley. And I cannot pick up. No, I cannot milk. Oh, Finley is a girl goat. Okay, what do you call a girl goat? <laughs> I know a sheep would be a you. So what is a girl goat? And this is... Eden. Okay. So we know Eden and Finley and Ace. And that's all we have on this island. Alright, so that's how that works. Later when we pull our, our portable island up again, we'll be able to unload them. And take them home with us. And have manure producers on the island all important parts of a homestead the carrots did not come back on their own i was curious about that there were several carrot patches on oh there's one did i miss it or did that one actually come back i think there were three yeah three patches that's the only ones i must have missed it okay so it is daytime now and we came from storm is over there we're kind of going this way, and that's the island we just skipped. Whoops, do that. So we can land on there, quickly get something to eat. 
Or do I go from this one? Let's do that. Let's go over here, give another boost and a boost. Go up. I don't have any grains to use as bird feed. Down and drop. Okay. Um, let's food up. Grab a water. Another water? It doesn't stack. Okay, potato. And... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm doing it the way the games do it. I'm right-clicking. All right, so E. And then E. And another E. Another one. Okay, so that's building slowly. And... Weapon. Let's go visit. Let's go say hi. Now, I want to know what you hit... What happens if you hit one of those? I've seen them pass through an island when I'm going up and down. So, like, like there's no ability to make contact with them. So I wonder if we would just pass through them. Slow it down. And... Drop in. Just one, two. Oh! Three... That it? Okay, let's walk through and find any others that are. They're, they're these things right here. They'll just pop up, and that's their hair. Nope, that's it. Okay, let's take this guy out. And let's take them out. And yeah, they're power moves, and I'm not hitting them at all, but that's okay. I'll learn eventually. Alright, take this guy out, and you. Alright. Now this one, I don't know if there's much on it. Though there is one of these. This is supposed to be your first one that you attack. There's one in, in, the, in the line, and we went right past it. A compost bin. Okay. I was looking at the picture, not the word, thinking, what is that? Okay, put you away. So what's on here? Anything special to this island? There's a gather over there. Potatoes. Okay, good. Stones. Okay, potatoes have kind of a pink to them. Pink flower. Just like the garlic onions. Have a kind of a pinkness a pink flower on top. Okay, so we'll take all these home. We're done here. You nope. There's some. And over there. All right, and do any of these plants. Small plants, what did I take out? Was it just that? The ferns? The ferns do it. Okay, so ferns and whatever those are, but not these. Okay, so for haymaking later. And I'd rather take these plants out than uh, take it out at our place. Leave our place looking more natural. So not those. Okay, put you away, and let's head back home. So that satisfied what I was wanting to accomplish there. I wanted to see that starter island again. Alright, so this way, uh, catch an updraft. Maybe yeah, we could catch this one. Boost into it. And let's get some free lift. Woohoohoo! I see we got two islands together that's ours and coasting right in let's drop right into the middle slow stop yeah <laughs> and I pulled that guy out interesting now these kind of plants would be nice to leave here and have in just the right place so they'll light, they'll light up at night. Uh, 
Now we did take... I'll get this staircase here running around Stonehenge. And... I'm not sure what to do in here. Would this be a place to put a campfire? That might be kind of fun. Too bad I can't sit. Yeah, I don't think that ability is in the game yet. But a campfire build. Where would that be? Right there. And two types. So you or something a little more extravagant. I could build you into the wall. Do you actually poke through? Well, I may not be able to see it. Let's build you in like that. You're missing some resources. Oh, I need coal. And it's not drawing from the island storage because it's not on this island yet. Yeah, it's all over there on that island. All we have is a bridge between us. What I don't know, and I'm almost afraid to try, could do bad things. Well, okay, it won't work with this one anyway because that island's too big. But if we were to tether with bridges, small islands, would they move with this one? Would that count as the total accumulated mass and say that it's too big? Hmm. I was told in comments a couple episodes ago that the idea of crashing islands into each other to form a larger island isn't quite in the game yet. That was something that's on the roadmap, possibly. But that's not necessarily here yet. So we have bridges, you know, structurally attaching them to each other. That one's just temporary to get us back and forth. Okay, so <clears throat> I could spend a lot of time trying to figure out what to do here. I think I'm just going to pause the video and start doing something and then pull back in. Maybe the best way to do this. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I took the stairs out heading up here and turned them. I come down this way. I'm not sure how I want to connect things, but coming around this bend into a structure gives us a little porch to look out over the, the lake down below. And then off into the side. Liking that. Do we want to be able to take off down this side? Probably do as well. So another staircase heading over there somewhere. Getting down here is actually pretty easy. Maybe just a staircase to the bottom. This is a nice little meadow. I never really noticed. Oh, this is the gangplank. Ah, okay. So what do we do with the gangplank? Hmm. Almost looks like a pasture to me. We're going to need a steer at this point somewhere. Okay. So up in here, I'm thinking we can go two-story through here at least. Any problem with line of sight for flying if I do that? Nope. I don't see any reason to need to see over there. Okay. So that is available. So let's drop into here. This has taken a lot of wood already. I've gone back for you know, a couple hundred wood twice now. What have I got on me now? So I grabbed a lot of stacks that last time just to not have to do that anymore. Um, interesting. This I filled in. This I have not. Yet there's support beams in there that go away once you put the planks on. That's interesting. Let's try that. Yeah, where'd all those support beams go? Hmm. And where windows are going to be up in here, I don't know. And I'm wondering if I really want to make a second floor right at this level. Or if I want to double these floors. Problem is, well, you know, let's do something like that this time. It, it felt uncomfortable last time how, how low that floor was. Let's pull these back out. I love that I can build from such a distance. And then two over and rever reverse you. Let's make floor and a halfs everywhere. I'm not sure what to do with, with this window wise. There, there, and then E goes this direction. Over the top, 
Oh, that works. So, do we window in that area, or is that just wall? I don't know. Okay, so when we put the floor in now, up at this level... Now, flooring in this place is going that direction, though I reversed it for the porch. So that's correct there. It won't feel quite so claustrophobic. And somewhere in here I've got to bust a hole to put... I'm doing half steps. Is that normal? Automatic. There we go. There. Uh, to put a staircase through to the upper floor somewhere. Okay. So pull out of that. That feels so much better. Of course, my ceilings in my place are 9 feet high on this floor and 11 feet high on the uh, the floor below where our, our uh, store is. So that's probably why that other one felt so tiny. Maybe older houses in England that would feel completely normal. I don't know. Let's build what we have here and see what this is like. Can I do this from a distance? Oh, I can. Oh, look at that. Okay. I can even hit that one from here. Great. Yeah, that power building feature is nice. Gets rid of a lot of the grind. All the walls in the right direction? Uh, yep, they seem to be. Okay. What's that looking like so far? That's just a second floor. That's a big box. It is. So, another thing that I've seen. Um, in fact, let's, let's play with that. Um, it was in the demo. No. In the trailer of the game. They were taking these guys, flipping them around and attaching them in a way that they looked like they were just part of the hillside. Like that. This may not be the place we're going to put them. But let's build that and see what you see what I mean. So that the so that the uh, the roof line just merges right into the the hills and you wouldn't even realize that it was there from one side. Yeah. I like that. And that would work well with this island. This this isn't going to work right here. I'd want... wonder. Can I just turn this... Cor well, I, I don't know that we're going to keep that. We're going to go up another... Probably a full floor. Let's go up a full wall here. And then roof down from that angle. So this angle is going to change. So... Put in... Let's see. Walls... So let's grab you, but we can use you to eliminate these. We get all of our materials back. So from here, we're going to wall over. This could be a regular height at this point. It could even be a half wall at this point. Let's play with that. Yeah, we're not going to do a lot of exploring today. I was going to do a lot of this off camera, but I thought, you know, this is one of the best features of the game, is the building. They do it better than most games that I have played. So this is actually a pretty exciting part of the game, to tell you the truth. Let's jump into grass, diagonal. So let's diagonal here. Where am I? Right there. Snap mode doesn't say auto anymore. Where is that written? It's just written while you're choosing it. Okay. So if we go there, I've still got to figure out where the staircase goes to get back up here. But just to see this. Then from here, we'd come down and just blend right into the ground here. Boy, that's persnickety. Something like that. This might taper. I don't know if I'm going to hip it or gable it. 
but and then what's going to happen here I don't know this might well be more like something like this uh, flip you more like that could be and whether that's there or here I don't know and then what wall I don't know. Got to figure that out. Kind of monkey with this as we go. Um, let's build this so far so we can see it. So from here, well, that is a little in your face. Too bad we can't get uh, these guys to grow up into it. Yeah, that might be something that uh, worth recommending. On the uh, on the forum but from there okay so how do we get up there and yeah it's gonna get dark I noticed last episode was quite dark my screen still sees it quite light but I watched the video while I was working today just just kind of uh, was bored this is the day before Thanksgiving here in the US so not a lot of customers coming in and and I didn't feel like working so I just sat back and and I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing trying to answer a comment and instead of going into a comment menu it went into the video I thought oh great because when you click on a video and then don't watch it it counts against the total watch time of the video so that if you get 20 clicks but only you know people have only stayed for 10 minutes and in each one then that really hurts the uh, the channel so I went ahead and just let it play and I'm glad I did because I found that the the sounds were off. I've got a real nice stereo uh, sound system in here, but on a little work computer, this it didn't sound that great, so I'm going to tweak some of that. And it was really dark, all the inside scenes. Now this game, I wrote into the forum today uh, for this game and suggested that we get lighting figured out just for the sake of being able to make videos. and. And the, and the answer came back, yeah, we realize the game is quite dark at night. We're, we're, that is definitely on the list to work on. And furniture is coming up in the next update. So there will be a lot of furnishings coming in soon. But I'm going to see if it's possible to lighten the video while I'm editing. So I'll be trying to figure that out this time. So how do I get into there? And where? Um, do we leave this as a prominent thing or is this the pathway to get up? Now I can't use here because I don't have much of a, of a roof up there. So it's got to be here in the middle. So I guess that's what it's going to be. We're going to have to break up this, this run here. I wish this could be a lot longer, a lot bigger. Um, put a little dock out there. We could grab this section back or these two. We could put the staircase here. Now I know later in the game there's there's a lot more building pieces that are going to show up but they show up at, toward the end unfortunately. Um, but we'll get spiral staircases, stone foundations, stone floors, stone walls, be a lot of other things that come up but they don't come up at the beginning. You've got to earn them. So from now we're just going to build this guy. But I'm wondering if I want to build out here these two squares and make a staircase up in this area. That might be a good idea. And out the top of that could be a door here that comes out onto this guy or onto a porch. Hmm. Okay. So build wall and take you out. Do I do just the one? Let's build this little area first. So does that do us any good? Can I get a steer up into this space? I can if I do it from here. I need one and a half paths to get clear. Let's try it. So B stairs and tall ones. Uh, wrong button. Wrong button. Three is what I want. 
you and do I want rails? If I don't have rails, then I can have it up right into that window. But I don't have access to that little room over there. The thought was that I could do this. Let's see, I've got to take you out. And another half stair. And that gets me up into here in time to turn this corner. Uh, wall. Let's see, you're there. No, half wall. And there. And then a full wall. And... Then this flooring goes out over the top of everything here. That's not it. You. And direction is that way. And then a half floor. Nope, oh, one back. And nope. I have to do these guys if I want to keep the direction the same. The half one doesn't rotate. And then you guys track there. Like that. So I guess the this works if the building is four wide up above here. That kind of works. You ever, you know what a salt box house is? A salt box shape? It's uh, something I wanted to build when I was young, but I never did. It, um, pull this out of here, escape. A long roof that comes up one side and then a short little one over here. So that the center of the building is actually toward the front. Let's play with that one. I kind of like that idea. Can I get there from here? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if we do that, I'll finally get the house that I've always wanted. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, with the planks going in this direction, I'd have to use these little guys. Hmm. I was thinking of kicking this out one half wall more. Dare I do that? It's not quite the traditional shape. The traditional shape does this. You, one more time up here. Like that. And then it comes down at this point. Actually, it would probably go another half further. Hmm. How are we, how are we doing this? This guy ended where? He ends there. I see. So, because of the angle, it's not landing over the top of these guys. I'd hate to go one more up there. That's kind of what it's acting like it wants to do. Where's my... Like it wants to go up there and then come down. Let's see what that looks like from a distance. In the dark. So something like that. Let's see that from the other side. There we go. So from over here, is it possible to even get a view of it? It's really not. Okay. Well, I'll build some of it. And then we'll figure out what we want. This would be a huge structure if I did that roof. It does give you a, a very big structure, almost three floors in there. I kind of like that idea myself. This is the big house and then could have some smaller structures here and there around sun's coming up kind of I guess it does that when it transitions let's pull up in here so this one is going to stop short it's going to stop right here unless I put a flat out there and the flat is not the way it normally is this one would be over the top of us properly so I think it's that one which means we are going to get one more floor out of this. Okay. Um, wood is still plentiful. Okay. So you, you kill that one and 
do that and there, there. And boy, I'm glad physics doesn't exist here. <laughs> and right there. So that's the idea. And in that case, it would be a full on gable here at the end. In fact, it would actually go one further out. Let's tap right there. So we have some eaves. So we could do a half one on the on the sides. We'll see. So you're going there. There. And let's see what the half one looks like. Um is it a, a real half? Let's see. One. It's just parts. Oh, wait a minute. Go back to three. No, there's no variant like that. So, one, or two, or three, or one, or whatever it is. I'd have to go this route to get halves up there. I can't tell what just happened there. I think there is one more to do. Okay. And then, EE, -E, and there, and there. So let's pull you guys out. Yeah, that is a little bit too much. So, and these would continue on down to the ground if you wanted to. And yeah, maybe we will. Um, so, you go there. With these small pieces, you've got a lot of variant. A lot of, what was that message just popped up? I didn't read it, and then it was gone. What was it warning me? Should I be concerned? Um, I need a full one in there, so three. And E, E. There. And then a one. And there. And there. Cannot be placed in the air. Oh, okay, I misclicked. Good. I thought I was about to say, the structure above your head is about to collapse. <laughs> Run. <laughs> okay, you go there and would probably continue right on down to the ground at that point. And same thing over there. Alright, so with that, let's grab some walls. So this could be another story and a half. I think so. So, build, wall, half story, like that, and actually a full story until we get to that point. So, here, and I've still got to figure out where the windows go, but for now, we'll do this. And what happens here? So, here, what I mentioned about all the small pieces. Is that... No, I misplaced these two. You're over here. So you're... Yeah. So you are... You. And... You. And then a little triangle over there. By all these little small pieces, we get to create these. You're going to be... Something like... No, we're going to go half walls here. So let's get rid of you. Half wall is there. Here like so. And some of these we'll pull out if we want to and replace them with windows later. That'll give us our height up here, our working height. Three Q. Need to add these walls in. Do you fit? You do. Okay, three. You're there. And let's see, one, and then you're there in a triangle. Okay, so that gives us a floor with just a little space above, though. Hmm. So we're coming up here. That's a little narrow there. I, I really can't pull them back, though. Unless I try to run the stair up this way from here. I guess I can live with that narrow. Probably. 
Okay, let's complete some of this, though I hate to completely run out of wood around here. Alright, so you're there, so we can see this now. I wish I could break off branches. There are some games that let you do that. You just keep the part of the tree that you want. I can't remember what game that was, but I do remember seeing that before. Okay, that's filling in nicely. Let's do this area. Alright, you. Nope, there. Okay, so of course there'll be a lot of windows up here in front, but let's see what the next floor looks like. Build you. We're going that direction. And you are dropping in right there. And then we got to figure out where this staircase comes in. I want to walk the staircase and see where it feels natural to uh, ascend again. stairs to here and it's just going to be it has to be in this space here that there's a staircase so that could be just kind of right here and it could be another narrow one too so build stairs uh, three that one okay so we come up we're here over let's see what happens Let's go to manual. There we go. Now I can take middles more easily. Um, I think it's here. Coming up. And then up. I think so. It gives us a good walkway around it in all directions. We can still do something under it. Okay, so stairs... Let's three over to... Oh, it's actually the other direction. Okay. You're going to be there. And then we're going to get rid of you and you. And we're going to put in flooring. Okay, so what do you... What are you going to be? Um, you're going to be there. Let's get rid of that manual snap. So you're going to be there. And then you're going to be a bunch of these. Okay. Kind of wood still on me is running low. But let's do it. Okay. That's all done. Um, okay. You will drop down in. So we come in the front door and out on the porch, down that direction, upstairs, up here. And it's still a good ceiling height up there. That's one of the beauties of the salt box shape. So it still gives you a nice... Yeah, this tree's probably going to have to go. He's going to be inside of all the floors over here. And then we'd go back in. Do we still have any wood at all? Yeah, 92. Okay, that's good. You're going to go in and be one wall height over here. And again, we've got to figure out where all the windows go. So we'll bust these out as we need to. And you're going to be triangles. Okay. Uh, build. I think it's a combination of. And these guys are the same both directions. Nope, that is the one that does both. Good. So you're there. You're there. And you are there. Okay. So, 
map table on the third floor again? Or is that... I think that's in its own little thing. Maybe that is in a gazebo right over here. That would be cool, wouldn't it? How long have I been recording? It feels like I'm near that hour point again. Ah, oh, time is always my enemy. Okay. Well, you get a sense of this first building. And... Let's go back down below. Is there any sense of... A practical porch out here? That is a big in your face. I'm going to probably have to... Oh, there's something that I discovered in between episodes. When we tried these before, they did not work that well. And turns out it was more like I didn't work that well. So let's... Well, I'll do one right now just to try it. Then I'll redo it later because it's going to take a while, quite a while to get it right. But there actually is a snap point. Just got to work on it. There it was, right there. Right there. Snap. And you do get a true vertical. So I didn't give the game credit last time. There really is the ability to, uh, to make this right. Though, if we had all the building blocks available to us, I would probably make a stone foundation block right there and then build up from there. But we do have the ability to do this as well as snapping horizontal. So if I were to... Let's grab this guy and go, well, we'll snap it to, I don't know if it's there or if it's there. I need, I want to run a horizontal under that. Just not sure how to grab it. Let's go underneath and see how it bends. From there. Yeah, it's not quite there at the moment, but just to make it look a little better. Let's see, rotate does what? It rotates that way, so Q. I think that looks a little bit better. And we we'll just kind of make it disappear. It's sitting at that level. Don't fall. We'll just make it disappear right there. That's decent. And then that's where I would more likely... Yeah, he's, he's crooked. So I would drop a post from there and then do probably at each of the five points down here. So six of them would come down with with uh, beams going across supporting everything just to make it look right. So I'll play with that in between episodes and make that look a little more supported. But what happens on the front of this place? Well, I guess it's kind of hard to judge it because there's no doors and there's no windows. If that was full of windows right now, it wouldn't look like such a big block. But do we try to run a porch out there? I don't know. If we did, we'd want to make this one a little bit bigger, but then that hides more of the lake. Um, we could do a half floor. So you, although in this direction, well, okay, it could be reversed on purpose going this way we could run a little thing out here so it wouldn't look so obnoxious but it would break it up a little bit but if it stuck out a whole floor length I think it really looks strange and then another one I guess at that level there let's make sure that we're in the right spot so we yeah but right above the half wall so there Something's off somewhere. I can't tell from here. But let's see what that looks like down there. Well, it looks a little better. I mean, it breaks it up a bit. So, and maybe I'll add that half end to this one. Make this a little bit longer, too. A little more substantial deck out here. And it might even wrap around here. That's possible. Okay. So it's going to be getting dark again. Hard to see. I'm going to call this done here. Um, throw me ideas. I, your, your ideas were a little silent last time. I think a gazebo here would look good. Um, I don't know how to merge a landing dock 
with a pasture but maybe we could do planting all through here and walk through a bricked pathway which comes in later from like here out with planters all around as our main entrance if I crash too hard into an island I worry that all this will be destroyed but well, we'll figure that out when it happens but yeah it's getting dark so any other ideas that you've been thinking about and meant to write in do it now and I will catch you later thanks for watching folks bye Thank you.